Hello everyone. Um, this is just a, a demonstration of the um, the mounting of additional uh, lens mounts to the Raspberry Pi cameras. Now I've got uh, two. This one is the Raspberry Pi Noir. This will do the infrared and kind of uh, night vision uh, if you've got an infrared illuminator. And this one will do just a standalone photography. Um, it's the standard camera that you get. Now the difference with these is uh, with the both cameras you get the standard lens which is which is okay and there's, there's absolutely no problem with the quality of it at all however there's a lot of people like myself out there that require um, the ability to have different lenses now my requirement is I'm working on a, a, a kind of follow-up to my DIY night vision that I did some time ago and my requirement is really to have a, a different lens so this is a 16mm lens which I need to place inside. Now when I started out with this I, was, I, I did have, well in fact it's this mount here, I did have the mount uh, and one thing I found which I was a bit disappointed initially was the fact that I, the mount spacing of the holes didn't quite line up. I thought okay that's fine. However when I was going to press the mount in, I've, I've, I have left one screw out here just to uh, demonstrate. If you leave one screw out it, it will fit but you, you end up with twisting problems. I didn't want that, I wanted pure stability with the camera itself. However if you then uh, do manage to kind of squeeze the, the screw into the mount and it's I wouldn't advise it because if you start over time you might end up actually breaking the ball itself but you're all down to your own devices with that. What you tend to do then do is you get instability where the, the board actually twists like that and it's really problematic so after a bit of searching around I've managed to uh, obtain the the lens mount with the correct spacing which is uh, a 21mm spacing and now you can see from here I've got both you can see I can actually put a lot of force onto the board itself because it's actually being um, pushed through onto the mount so there's no stress involved and you can see it, it mounts flush which is exactly what I wanted to do and there's no no flex in it at all it's rigid and that will sit quite nicely uh, on the project that I've got what I will do is I'll put a link onto where you can get these from I have got uh, a number of them myself at the moment um, I can't seem to find anywhere else that stocks them so uh, if you want one by all means let me know send me a private message I'll just send you some pricing and um, you know, just drop me some PayPal and we can sort it out for you. Well, I hope that helps and you know, we'll see how it goes.